Hey guys, so this is going to be kind of about how I study and kind of what studying tips I have. Um, I'm not saying that I'm a professional. I mean, what works for me might not work for you guys. And I'm not saying that I'm like the smartest student. I don't get straight A's. Um, I My grades do, did improve dramatically doing these kind of things. And I don't know, I feel like I sh I feel like not many people, maybe a lot of people do know about it, but I just wanted to tell you guys about it, I guess. So, um, if you see me looking, um, down, it's probably because I'm looking at my phone because I have it all typed up on here. So, the first thing is listen to classical music when you're doing homework or when you're studying. I feel like it really helps a lot because, I don't know, I'm the kind of person who's, like, reading something really boring, then I'll get... Um, just not distracted, but half of my mind is still reading it and then the other half I'm just like off in la la land kind of so you know listening to classical music I feel like it does really help me a lot especially concentrating and memorizing you know information and um, Classical musics I listen to if you go on YouTube um, Which you probably are if you're watching this video, but if you search up study music project, I believe. Um, they have a huge, huge variety of songs to listen to and I personally recommend them. I mean, they're kind of pretty, they're pretty much the only um, channel I listen to. I don't know. I know there's like a lot of other ones where it's like six hour long, eight hours long. Um, I guess you can listen to that if you're like hardcore studying, but I mostly listen to like the half an hour, 20 minutes one. So there's that. So next is eat bananas and salmon. I feel like that really helps a lot. Um, I, don't know, I feel like I don't eat bananas as much as I should, but um, pretty much on a night where I'm studying, I'll eat bananas. And then the next morning when I have the test or the exam, whatever, I'll eat another banana. So um, and I heard bananas, or I Google search <laughs> that bananas really help improve your memory. And also salmon too. And if you guys don't really like eating salmon, you can also um, buy the vitamins, which has like omega-3 in it, I believe. So there's that. So next is find a quiet place to study. I personally don't study at, or I do study at home, but I personally don't study at um, nighttime because that's when, you know, my mom, my sister are awake and they're probably watching TV or something like that. So what I usually do is go to bed really early and then wake up around like four or five o'clock and then just do my homework because everybody's still asleep and, you know, I could play, you know, soothing classical music that won't, like, wake up anyone, I guess. So, um, yeah. And then the next tip is pretty much to summarize or just paraphrase passages or information that you um, need to memorize. So like, for example, vocabulary and de definitions, you want to um, phrase it in your own words instead of just like copying word for word because um, you might not have like an understanding of it in a way because all exams aren't going to choose the same definition. They'll have like a slightly similar definition, I guess, if that makes any sense. Um, so I find, you know, paraphrasing things, putting things in your own words is really helpful. And if you have like, you know, a younger sibling, like probably like six or five, you know, try explaining to them. Cause I mean, small children, they have like a really small mind. So you might have to use simpler terms, you know? So when you're explaining things to them, just be like, you know, blah, blah, blah. In other words, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, like blah blah you know just like have different multiple of definitions um that's really simple you know you don't want it to be like overwhelming not overwhelming but too much information or not too much information but just you know try to make it in simple terms that you can understand and you know whoever's listening to you can understand so i mean I don't know if that makes any sense but i feel like it's really helpful for me you know just to rephrase things and um yeah, just rewriting things in my own words. And then the next thing is to have flashcards. I love flashcards, except I hate wasting like paper and stuff. So um, you can always uh, download a flashcard app into your phone, which is, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, this is called the Flashcards Elite. And, um, was loading but you can go on quizlet.com and then um, just type up all your flashcards and information and then you can um, transfer it to your phone by downloading that app so this is what I have in my 
flashcards. Um, it has chemistry, AP government politics, and language. So, um, you know, just like simple things like that. Um, I personally don't like doing it for every, for all my subjects. I'll just do the ones where I have mostly trouble with. And whenever I'm bored or just waiting for my mom, my, my sister, just whatever I'm doing, I can always, you know, use uh, the flashcards on here as like a study. Um, they're not like flashcards where you just read, they, they give you the term and then you click on it and then it turns on the back. They actually have like multiple choice or just typing, you know, which is really helpful because I love multiple choice. I can't really spell things. So which is why I kind of don't do typing unless it's kind of like a spelling Thing that I need to memorize and I'll do that too so yeah and then the next thing is just to get plenty of sleep I don't know um I don't know if it's better or not but my physics or my old physics teacher used to say that um eight hours of sleep is better than eight hours of studying so I don't know if that's true for me because some I don't know. Um, I don't study at all, so maybe it wasn't true for me. But you know, get enough sleep on the night before the exam, or just you know, try to get um a lot of sleep in general. Gen general. So you know, try doing your homework at home or not at home, but at like lunchtime, or just you know, try to finish your homework early so you can go to sleep because um I don't know. I sleep like six, five hours on a school night. So, I mean, usually weekends are days I have to make up the sleep, but I have to practice kind of early. I mean, 12.30 isn't really early, but I personally feel it's kind of early. So, um, I try to get as much sleep as possible, so you want to do that. So yeah, that is it. Um, I mean, like I said, you know, these tips work for me. If they don't work for you, then... I'm sorry, but I did get the most improved academic or the most improved award for um, third trimester last year. So I'm pretty proud of that. And I personally think that, you know, it's because of classical music and the way I change how I, you know, um, when I study and stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and find it useful. So, yeah, bye.